If you guys need a cheap, safe, and reliable coin service with instant delivery, go to FIFACoinStock.com down below in the description. Use Dirty for 5% off both Xbox and PSN. And if you guys are looking for cheap games and codes, we've also got G2A. Dirty will get you an additional discount. What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome to an instructions as well as role tutorial. EA's implemented a few different adjustments, and I want to discuss it, and I want to tell you what instructions really do in terms of benefits at each position and different options you have. If you enjoy the video, let's hit that like button. Can we get 700? Can we get 800 likes? Tells me everything is golden. And drop a comment if you have any more questions, or you want to tell me a little bit more about what you like to combine in terms of instructions to get the best results. In order to access player roles or instructions, you push Y or triangle, just depending on platform. We're going to look into player roles first, and it's very important that you get this set out before match. You don't have to make any changes, whether it's a penalty kick taker or somebody on a corner kick. More importantly, free kicks. You don't have time to really change to other players on free kicks because your opponent is running people into the box, they're getting guys on the line, you're no longer going to have that simple free kick. The more time you waste, the, the opportunity sometimes eh, it goes downhill. Heading into instructions, let's start with the center backs, and there's no reason for you really to change anything with the center backs. Uh, the default is stay back while attacking. Uh, why would you want them to join the attack or play as a striker? I'm not sure. I'm not aware of that, that change being a positive one in any circumstance. Now your fullbacks, very interesting. You got balanced attack, which is going to be the default. And then you have overlapping and stay back while attacking. And instructions are the new way of using custom tactics, in my opinion. Uh, and as for uh, fullbacks, you only want them to stay back while attacking if you are struggling with their positioning. And I have that issue with Clichy, with Danny Alves, Roberto Carlos, but everyone's different. Always overlap. That means you want them forward more often than not. And then the balanced attack is kind of a, a default. You're going to have to play around with it a little bit. Uh, and then as a CDM role, I almost always play cut passing lanes and stay back while attacking because as a center defensive midfielder, you're in my squad to break up plays, not to score goals, not to get forward, not to take long shots, to break up plays. So that's kind of my default instruction at that position. And then when you're looking at center mids, you've got a lot of options. So when you're attacking, you can either stay back while attacking, which I do in many circumstances if I have a balanced center mid, such as a Diaby, a Fur. I don't need them to push into the attack. They're going to be okay. Or you can tell them to just get forward, stay forward, which is very aggressive, especially if you already had maybe a cam in that position. Support on crosses. Now, this is something that's important that people don't take into consideration nearly enough is if you have a small center attacking midfielder or center mid, why do you want them to get in for the cross? Tell them to stay on the edge of the box. Don't push too far forward. They can sit there and try to collect some rebounds. And with the new patch, rebounds are everywhere. And sticking to position or free roaming, I, I don't like free roam in any attacking and defending position. Now, if you have a striker or a center attacking mid, you can kind of free roam from time to time. But as a center mid, a CDM, a fullback, any of those different options, it doesn't make sense for me. And as for wingers, I know it's not an option in in this formation uh, but if you have a winger that's skillful but he's not that fast have him cut inside naturally or if you are looking to play counter-attack 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 tell him to stay forward and not with your left mid or your right mid with your winger uh, instead of ever coming back to help you with defense he's always gonna be pressing on that back line you get that high low effect and now when you're looking at cam not much changes from the center mid just depends where you want to position these guys uh, I usually go with the basic defense support because I'm not looking for them to play defense uh, and then as for support on crosses, I already said, and that doesn't change, depends on the size. If he's over 5'10", he's athletic, you want him to get into the cross. You might want to go balanced or get into the box. Challenge, please challenge. And then at strikers, now this is going to get very interesting. So with your defensive pressing, if you're pressing the back line, you're now going to be farther up the pitch. And if you combine that with getting in behind, you've just made a through ball striker. I wouldn't recommend doing that for both strikers because someone's got to check to the ball to be able to provide a possible striker to striker through ball or something along those lines. But it is very interesting. Here you have drifting wide, which I never have been a fan of. Uh, staying central is something I've used before. If I'm, uh, I've got someone that is kind of a hold-up player, possibly a Benteke, a Lukaku, somebody that I know can make a big difference in the midfield, stretching those arms out and just giving me easy options for additional build-up play. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll have a lot more content coming for you ASAP, ASAP. Peace.